Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'm here. Tom's here. Barb is here. Mm -hmm. Ricky is here. All right. A uh, couple of items that I wanted to bring to the attention of everyone. Um, I had sent an email out to everybody, but as a as a gentle and friendly reminder, uh, Deborah's father passed away this week, and the week is uh, tomorrow, along with the services. Mm -hmm. So. I also had, and it happened very last minute, um, but Dave Fleming came up to the region uh, oh. to meet with the with the engineers and Connie Goddard as the receiver, mm -hmm. um, and we had a chance to talk at length yesterday. So we came by and um, talking about the punch list and where they are, and you know, seeing that project through. Um, and again, you know, Connie has been really fabulous to continue in that stage. Uh, for a long time now, well, yeah. you know. So extension of the real forest. Yeah, I mean it's it, it's it's been quite a while, and um, the, the reason that I just bring it to your attention is that as we talk about uh, the mausoleum, the overall go overall overall arching goal of this facility has been that we will not take it over until it has uh, been completed, and like most things with government. Uh, it works at glacial speed, and I had a chance to, at the MHAV facility grand opening, uh, both Assemblyman Jones and Senator Little were there, um, and we had to, we had a chance to have a sidebar conversation, and just you know making sure that that is uh, moving forward. And we're not the only ones that are kind of in this boat. I remind people that this is a, a situation that's affecting both the town of Plattsburgh and Ellenburg. Um, so. Um, Ricky or, or any of you, if you get phone calls, uh, even you, yourself, I know you've received, you've heard from a couple of people, um, the receivership has been extended to September, but as I would argue, um, and, and also thank though, Connie, is until the work is complete, I'm confident that she'll keep um, in that, in that position. You know, and her background is, you know, she's running a large facility now in the Queens Bay area. She's also the, um, the coroner now. Um, so she has a lot of expertise and, and experience in this. Um, I know that the town has uh, never been meant to be in the business of that, um, but as more details become available, um, they will. So I just, I just want to keep you up to date on that. Just a, is, is there any remedy for what happened after they already did the work? There, that's why David uh, met with Connie to look at a, a number of, of things and, and reevaluate the punch list. Um, you know, and really the big part about it is it's not a town project. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's the state is the one that's managing. No, because it. they have to have proper drainage if they don't. Sure, and that's and that's why they they went through and, and had some of those conversations. So more to come, um, but it um, it's been lengthy. Um, I have talked to a number of people though, that do have loved ones there, um, and it's in better shape than it was, but it's not perfect yet. Okay. A um, couple of items that did not make draft resolution, uh, but will be forthcoming next week, and uh, is uh, Tim has been actively been working on getting some paving done with the other towns and the shared services and stuff. So he's been out of pocket a little bit this week and a bunch of other projects, but he will have uh, a resolution for consideration next week, uh, possibly for a used tractor. And then the other part to it is uh, he's, he wants to jump ahead and start moving forward with putting together the spec plan for the new plow. Uh, it takes a significant amount of time to get done. Um, so trying to uh, front load that a little bit he believes is a is a good opportunity. So don't be surprised if I bring those forward uh, to you folks. And that's the one we buy every other year. Yeah. Keep our fleet up and it wouldn't be till next year. Yeah. So um, I would I'd strongly encourage you to, to reach out to him directly. Um, again, give the consideration though that you know he uh, they don't work Fridays because mm -hmm. they do the, the extra long uh, shifts during the week to make the most of the daylight. Um, 
that you may need to track him down if he's out on the road and stuff like that. But he's very good about being accessible that way, and yeah. that's how I kind of try to track him down. Yeah. Right, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, just a heads up on that. Uh, again, with Debbie being out and such, uh, I would consider that we'll have the minutes by then. If not, we'll push it forward and we'll push it off by one more. The big item on here is the purchase of the uh, back. Truck. Mm -hmm. This is an item that has been uh, moving forward, and I know both Chuck and Meg uh, through the Water Committee have been um, talking with Scott and his team for a while. Uh, they've been doing a lot of research on this. In fact, that they um, had, I think it was one or two companies that came up and they did demoed a couple different vehicles and stuff, and um, they've been doing their due diligence. Um, and this is on state contract too, so just as an mm -hmm. FYI. Okay. So those are the big items. Uh, does anybody have any questions about the mausoleum? Um, and I apologize, or is there anything for public comment this evening? But I mean, how is the, does Dallenberg has a mausoleum, mm -hmm. right? How is that one compared to the one in the town of Hawks? Uh It's actually worse off, Debbie. Um, and, and that's, you know, that's been the real point of frustration, uh, to be quite frank. Um, you know, one of the items that we did, both Jason and I, is when we went through what I refer to as the governmental gauntlet when we went down there. We met with uh, members of the governor's office, we met with members of the comptroller's office and the AG's office. Uh, the AG's office was taking the lead on doing a deeper dive into some of the issues that mm -hmm. kind of, um, well, one of the things that uh, can be easily noted is uh, we don't have the same AG. You know what I mean? So I, again, there's that one more wrinkle in, mm -hmm. in some of that. Mm -hmm. um, but Senator Little and, and Assemblyman Jones have been great that they've been following up with the agencies and having those conversations and stuff. So, um, so these two project, these two mausoleums, yeah. is really one united project. It's it, it is in, in many respects. It, there's there's varying degrees of separation and varying degrees of, of kind of them tied together. The receivership is a receivership to both. So the receivership- well, That's where I was going, will, obviously. Right, so the receivership will not end until both of them are completed. Okay. So in some ways, we benefit because of yes, that. Yes, exactly. Um, the other part to it is, we will be going into a, a recommended shared services agreement with Ellenberg to do the entombments and, and so, you know, because we'll have to meet the contracts. Sure. Um, that's why we also benefit from we won't have to staff up because of the mausoleum. We will have to mow the grass and a couple other things, but that's a lot less impact than it is to have taken on a full suite of responsibilities. I mean, they have the uh, crematorium, and they are opting to continue to operate that, um, which means, though, that they are going to have the FTEs and, and part-time employees that they're going to have to fold into their civil service and stuff like that. Um, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but there was supposed to be a chunk of change for perpetual care. There was. Uh, the Is that chunk of change one common chunk of change for both, no. or does each get their own? No, we each get our own. That's good. Um, the other part to it is um, we are continuing to work with the state to identify future opportunities in years to come. You know, you don't keep going to the well each year to get a bucket of money, but the state has recognized that it, it, it fell apart on their watch. And theoretically, you know, I don't know what kind of roof it has, yeah. but let's say 30 years from now, you could need a new roof, yeah. and you know, 300 whatever thousand dollars that they're giving you is not gonna, you know, right. Go far Correct. for a new roof, Correct. and you know what repair and maintenance needs to be done. Yeah, that's why you know seeking the opportunity to go back to that sure. uh, group. And the last part of it is uh, that I had a lengthy conversation with Dave Fleming about was establishing a Friends of the Mausoleum group, um, which will provide opportunities um, one to possibly plant flowers in front of the facility. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, after the holidays, you know, sometimes people leave, you know, flower baskets. Sure. And, just, and the other part to it is if an individual um, felt that they wanted to do this and they wanted to leave uh, money behind um, from an estate, 
those funds could then transfer, and then those would go into the perpetual care uh, of the facility as well. And I know, Talking about day one. And I know also you said at one point that right now mm -hmm. uh, you didn't want to be in the business of selling, you know, selling mm -hmm. uh, but that doesn't uh, mean that in the future out into the future they could start the exactly. town could start again. exactly and one of the and one of the biggest concerns that i that i have debbie um and again I, this is why i want to do our due diligence about this we are going to be burdened by a certain amount of risk and responsibility by taking on the facilities i think there's a difference between assuming that in a, in a way which we never wanted and then opening a door and saying well, we're going to expose ourselves to new ris new risks and responsibilities um, because we you know, want. So I think there's a fine line. Yeah, you, know, you have that, to juggle it. In it so at least you know, taking some time to figure out uh, what does it look like, how does it operate. You know, um, I think so far to date, there's only been about five entombments um, since this happened. No, 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 this year. Oh, okay. So, but to be honest, though, how many contracts are out there? Exactly, and I don't have that number in front of me. And, and, and death is one of those items that, you know, in one year, in you theory, have 50. you could have 50 or you can have none. Exactly. Um, and so there's a lot of different things that are at, at play there. And, um, so. and what percentage of, uh, of space is left, or do you know? There, there's, a, there's a fair amount uh, left, um, but again, you know, because it is one of those perpetual uh, things, uh, there could be a number of factors in 50 years sure. that it could be very difficult to do entombments because of something and new mm -hmm. statues and uh, so. We don't know. We don't know. I mean, that's all I'm foreseeing. So. And we don't want it until it's done, until it's proper. Well, you that's, think. Yeah. <laughs> So we, done we, properly. Done properly. You know, so we can't, yeah, you know, we can't predict what we're going to do at this point because we don't sure. even know that all the sure. all things are. So, Michael, just a couple questions. So, sure. with regards to the state, are you saying you're in cemeteries or no? When you say the state, you just. I, I, uh, I, I said I say the I say the state, you know, uh, kind of in many so, folds. Okay. One, a generic statement, but. Uh, Division of Cemeteries is the, the agency, um, but there's many people involved okay. right now. Because the receiver is actually, a, is really a designee of the AG. Okay. So, it, it is. Yeah. And so likelihood that we could extend the receivership. Yeah, I mean, I, we've seen the receivership extend many times at this point. So I'm hopeful that um, Connie's committed to getting the project done. Okay. That's right. um, but I, I have to imagine, though, found ourselves, you know, in an unfortunate situation in 2050, for instance, you know, like, you know, she, there's going to come a time where she's going to say, this, this yeah, needs to be completed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, yeah, that's my question, because yeah. I'm not saying that we have to have contingency planning, but at yeah. some point, if she wants to see it to this yeah. fullest, uh, yeah. you know. But, but honestly, though, even thing. though that there have, have been a, a number of um, uh, missteps by um, the state, Progress is being made. Yeah. It's just tiny. You know, they're, they've just been slow. So, all right. So, those are my highlights. Has there been any vandalism? Not, none that's been reported. That's good. Yeah. And in fact, um, one of the, the smaller and, and, uh, and nice things that has occurred um, for Memorial Day and Fourth of July, uh, Connie made sure that there was some nice bunting. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Put on the front yes, of the facility, yes, just, right. just a, a small mm -hmm. thing, but to make that space more friendly, and you know, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's where people's loved ones are. I mean, we have, I mean, there are a number of veterans that are in that mm -hmm. that space. Mm -hmm. um, I have noticed that when I go by, that lights are on inside. I don't know if they're always on inside, or if it's just because people are inside. I, I, I believe, I, I believe they're on all, all on all, all the time, mm -hmm. um, but they're the LED. Yeah. you know, low impact lights and stuff like that. Yeah, Deb, periodically I stop in because I tend to travel that town yep. on the road. So yep. I do stop in uh, for personal reasons as well as just a And lights are on in there? Yeah. <laughs> 
Could you think? Because maybe you like, could I do motion detectors. Detector. You know, when that. people walk in that way, when nobody's in there, the lights go off. They save money. Of course, right now the state's paying, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and and some of the and honestly, of course, that's of, us. So yeah, and all, yes, absolutely, Hello. and all of us. Uh, you know, there have been a number of things that uh, were encouraged. Uh, the state, the state opted not to do, and you know, it's that's the fine line. You know, it's not our project. You know, yes. but um, you know, I can tell you that it's there's a strong likelihood. Like there's a. Um, I, motion light put in our um, photocopier room here I mean it's it's not that yeah. hard to do I mean so I imagine we'll implement some of those things when he comes yeah. up yeah. Yeah. Okay. all right that's it thanks folks uh, do we mark Meg here or not I would mark her here I'm here <laughs> <laughs> okay Meg you're here All right, drive safe, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Okay, cool. Hydrate, hydrate, everybody. Hydrate. Yes.